What district kid plan should you pick in 2024? Now I hate YouTubers that ramble on, so I'm gonna give you a short answer and a long answer. Short answer, I'm gonna say Musicians Plus. Here's the main reason why. Now you can see I have three main choices here. There are some big ones here when it comes to Ultimate. Like if I go here, I can do, I mean a lot, I can pay a lot of money to have Ultimate. I don't think Ultimate is worth it for 99% of people watching this video. Here's the main reason why I choose Musicians Plus. Let's start at the most basic, which is the Musicians Package. This is $23 a year, at least at the exact time of this video. Way back in the day, in the past, I'd say maybe seven-ish years, District Kid was always $20 a year for unlimited uploads. It did go up by $3, so now it's $23 a year for unlimited uploads. And I wanna stress, there's a lot of platforms out there that pay per release or per album, per single, whatever. This you pay $23 a year, completely unlimited uploads. And you can see this is what you get. You get one artist, um, uh, upload unlimited songs, like I said, lyrics, the Spotify verified check mark, although it's pretty easy to get as well when it comes to Spotify for artists, royalty splits, 21 free tools, and the mobile app access. So that's what you get with the main account. Now, the reason why I select the uh, Musicians Plus account, and the reason why I suggest it, is because it's one, it's $40 a, uh, a year. I will say that. So it's 17 extra dollars a year. And here's the main reason. A lot of my subscribers already know what I'm about to say, and that is this. When I go down here, the sync lyrics, I don't really care. The daily streaming stats, gonna be honest, the daily streaming stats in District Kid are kind of meh. I'd rather just use Spotify for artists or Apple Music for artists or Amazon Unlimited or whatever. Um, the custom iTunes pricing, also kind of meh. It's mainly two things. One, the custom release date. I personally don't do this, but I know a lot of people do. We're like, all right, I wanna release it on March 3rd, for example, right? And you could do that like well in advance. Here's the main one and that is the customized label name. You could have a custom label name when you have the Musicians Plus account. If you use the basic package, which again is $23 a year, the label under the metadata when you release a track is DistroKid. No offense to DistroKid, but I just, I don't know, it's kind of weird to be like, oh, label, DistroKid. So for me, I have my own label, Meta Music Records, I'm the only one on it. It's very easy, you don't need an LLC or website or social media or anything, you literally just type in a name. So all you have to do is think of a name, like what's a cool label name for you, and then when you go to release a song, you can have a custom label name. That's actually the only reason why I personally spend 17 extra dollars a year, is just to have a custom label name. I just think, I don't know, I think it looks a, a lot better. In addition, you know, you never know, like maybe, five or 10 years down the line, I decide to start making it like more of like a label label, not just like a name, but an actual brand. And let's say I wanna bring on another artist. Hey, I have already one established artist myself on the label, not too bad. Now when it comes to the different artists, I will say this is again for a more small percentage of people watching this video, but I have had some questions about this. With the basic package, you get one artist. I think that again, for 90, 95% of people watching this video, your single artist. Two artists with the Musicians Plus account. So let's say if you have you and your friend, I guess you could share an account. I have had some questions about that. I suggest not to. I think it's just easier having separate accounts, at least to me, right? I will say that at least to me. Um, but this is for two artists, and then you have Ultimate, which is basically the label package. So if you're, let's say, somebody who does have a label, you can see that at, let's say, $90 a year, you can have, I think it's five artists, if I have 100 artists a year, it's, I mean, basically 1350, it's a lot of money. If I have 20 artists, it's $270 a year. So again, this is definitely, definitely way more for a label. Definitely way more for a label. Like I said, most people are like, hey, I'm one artist. And I wanna suggest, I might as well say, for the Musicians Plus account, you don't need multiple artists. If you're like say, saying, hey Mark, I'm only one solo artist, do I really have to do Musicians Plus account? Like I said, no. The biggest thing though is the custom label name and you have that other artist slot if you wanna use it, but you don't have to. Two things I definitely have to mention before I conclude this video. One, at the end of the day, if let's say you're like Mark, I don't really care about the custom label name. I don't care if the label under my releases is DistroKid. 
No big deal. Do the basic membership, which again, like I said, is $23 a year. For me though, like I said, I like spending that extra $17. So I spend $40 a year in order to have that custom label name. The second thing I definitely have to mention is this. You may be wondering like, okay, $23 a year. Let's say you want to go with the basic package, 23 bucks a year. Is that it? Technically, yes. There is a bit of an asterisk on that. And the reason why I have to mention this is there's a lot of extras and add-ons when it comes to DistroKid. I've done a bunch of videos about them. I did an entire DistroKid review of 2024. I have it listed below in the description where I kind of went in-depth about each one. But basically, there are other things and other selections you can make to add stuff onto your releases, and those do cost extra money. For example, I mean, there's a bunch of them, but for example, for me, I have the Beatport add-on. It's 10 extra dollars a month, so 120 extra dollars a year, and that allows me to release music on Beatport. In case you know what Beatport is, it's another store like uh, Amazon or Apple Music or whatever, but it's really mainly targeted for DJs and electronic musicians. For me as a DJ and as an EDM artist, of course, I want my music on Beatport, and as you can imagine, and I've... You know, this is something that once the ball gets rolling, gets a lot easier. I make way more than $10 a month from Beatport. So for me, yeah, I have to spend 10 extra dollars a month or 120 extra dollars a year, but I make way more money back from my music being on Beatport. In addition, there are a bunch of other add-ons and extras you can do, and those do cost extra money. So keep that in mind. But like, so you're like, Mark, I'm on a budget. I'm trying to do this as efficient financially as possible. All you have to do is spend $23 a year for unlimited uploads.